Hey, what's going on guys? It's Aspect here and today I wanted to show you guys how to get the PS4 buttons working on Sekiro because it seems like everybody's having the same issue I'm having where the Xbox buttons are appearing. So you just need to download these two mods and know it won't affect your achievements or anything of that sort. I'll put both of these links to the mods on the description. Pretty much when you open it up, it'll be like this. Go to manual download. It will make you sign up. Now it's going to say you need to pay, you actually don't, so just go to register now, right here where it tells you how much you want to pay for, just skip it all and put create account down here, just make your account, boom, it's been submitted, now you want to go back to the, uh, to the mod, it will ask you to validate, I just did it. So sign in and I know it's pretty annoying. It's an annoying process, but you're gonna have to go back to the mod once again Which you can just follow the link again on my description manual download and this time it should work Right there saving it and Do the same thing for the other mod if you just open up the page you should be logged in already and Download the ps4 buttons mod which once again, you'll save it down here and uh, You can open up the mods here. They are Bring it to your desktop or wherever you want, and you're just going to extract it. I'm gonna extract them right here. As you can see, it appeared here. And the second one, which is the buttons, extract here as well. Now you have these two folders. So now the next process is very simple. You're gonna right click and find the directory for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. If you're doing it through Steam, you can just open up Steam and uh, follow it through there. However, I just have the program not running through Steam. Right click Sekiro, open file location, or you can just go to your local C drives, games, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And once you're in here, you're gonna open up the mod, the first one. You wanna get these two right here, these two DLLs. Well, one's a DLL, the other one's just as mod engine. And you're gonna move it into the folder. Then you're gonna get the PS4 buttons. And this one, what you want to do is inside the Sekiro folder, you want to make another folder. So just create, right click, new folder, and put mods. Open up that folder that you created called mods, and drag the menu folder from the uh, file that we have. Just put it inside the mods, and boom. That should be it. Now it should be working. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below and I will help you to the best of my ability. Please subscribe, comment, and give a thumbs up if it helped. Thank you.